Hello boys and girls, welcome back to some more Planet Base. I'm not doing this as like a season 2, we're just going to continue on, this will be episode 6. I can count them even if my computer does screw up and make me do episode 3 and upload it before episode 2 because he hides the file, but that's another story. Um, so, uh, we're going to go ahead, we're going to go start a new game. You want to play, no I don't want to play the tutorial, shut your face. Don't have four milestones because I didn't do very well so I didn't do the challenging so I'm just gonna go ahead I'm gonna do just the normal one um, maybe we should start uh, atmosphere density high suitable for winter can we have everything sunstorm risk high meteor risk low <clears throat> um, kind of area should we go in Let's go, because all these areas over here look really nice, and then you get them over here. I like the fact that you can pick different areas. Let's go here. Let's just do it. Uh, let's go, let's call it take two. And let's go ahead and start. Where's the key? There it is. Okay, so we are landing. We are going to do our usual startup. We're going to set a few things down. We're going to recycle the lander. We get the resources. Um, can we need to build first? We'll wait for all this to work. What was to happen? Everybody get off the thing. So we need stuff that builds starch, food wise, and stuff. Right, okay. So first things first, we need we need to work out where we're going to put this airlock. It kind of needs to be over here. Um, we need an oxygen generator, which we're going to build in this direction. We're going to build a small one for now. There's certain things I can't do until I've done that. Solar panel. We are going to build solar panel right here and a power collector and build a slightly larger one we are going to put that here um not what I want to do don't think I can build anything else no I can't build anything else until this is gone until this is all built so we need that to happen pretty sharpish. So there's a power. Oh, we need water, right? Where's water? Water extractor, we will also build that. We'll build that here, so we've got this. We're only going small for now, because that's all we need to do. These guys don't have a lot to do. Um, biodome. Biodome next. Yes. Shit. Then we need some storage. We're going to bring the storage down to here. We are going to connect up both of these. We are going to recycle you. Um, so that doesn't have any water because that hasn't been built yet. They're just doing that now. He's bringing the stuff over. They can do that. Then we have a place we can go inside. We can have oxygen and we can survive. We can survive. Um, I do think, actually, I want to go ahead. I'm going to go ahead and build a wind turbine. I'm going to kind of increase the size on that a little bit gonna build a wind turbine right here just that little bit of extra power um, that hasn't been built yet constructor bot do you think there we go so now that can work they'll get oxygen here they can get inside they can build these so we got oh shit that's not what I wanted do I want to process it what did they get biodome processing plant is that okay I think that might be okay actually because we're gonna need that anyway right 
Um, we need to head towards mountains, so we need to build something over here. I think what we need to do is build a canteen. Right there. And then we're going to need a mine. There. Uh, and finally, we need a dormitory. A dormitory. Got enough resources to do these things, so that's fine. So we're going to need a dorm. We're going to build the dorm. Here, off the canteen. Where, what was stored? That was biodome. That was processing plant. That was canteen. That was dorm. We need... What was storage? That's one storage. So we need storage. Which I think... Hmm. The processing plant there is in the wrong place. I think that's the issue I've got. Can I build it on both? I can. I want a double linkage here. I can't. Shit. I wanted a double link there. Okay. Well, that's fine. That's fine. Whatever. Whatever, Trevor. Um, right. So why have you not got oxygen? Are you not big enough to create the oxygen? No, you're going up. It's just you've built a lot of stuff. And you need that extra. Is it worth building another oxygen thingy? Okay, so you're getting oxygen up, oxygen up. Okay, so it is working. It's just a lot has been built in one go. And it's causing the issues. But they've got somewhere to put all this stuff. Processing plan. Let's get rid of these. Um, biodome. What's this? 100 percent produced high and um, fast production, high maintenance. Need one medicinal plant. And I think Amaze. That will give us starch. Because that's what we desperately need. We need starch. Need a lot of starch coming through. Processing plant. Um, one of those, one of those for now. Okay, let's get this stuff down. We will have two meal producers. We will have two tables, two water thing is. Damn it! What's this? One video screen. Right. So they are set up for the most part. For self-sufficiency almost. What is this? Storage. Why did I put the dorm? Did I put a dorm down? I didn't, did I? And do you know what? That's probably fine. Because I can probably connect a dorm here. So we can get round. Okay. Damn it, I haven't got two links on it. Crap a duck. Well, they've got to go through here to get stuff so they can pick up the food, go to there, and then when they get out of bed. So that's that's my excuse and I'm sticking to it. Right. So we will get wind power from this now. That will help. Okay. Resources. Lots. Quite a bit of resources. They just need to bring it in and do stuff with it. We're going to let them get on with it a little bit for now. I think this is a high priority right here. So they're going to go in, they're going to build these things. Oh great, they built the telly before they built the ability to sit down and eat and drink and stuff. Good job. Good job people, good job. There we go, okay, so now they're building stuff. The dormitory hasn't been built, so they've got nowhere to sleep right now. That kind of sucks. Because they're going to get pretty tired. Not a lot I can do about it. The only thing I can do right now is speed things up. We're learning. We learned some things. 
So power-wise, we're doing okay right now. Um, if this fills up... So it's, it's losing right now because the wind is dropping. But if we get this fill, we may put another one in. If we don't get it filled, we will put in another wind turbine, probably. Okay, self-sufficiency and survival. So we've got everything we need to survive. We have got a reserve of food, but I want these to build up and let's get food in and everything. I also need a medical bay. That is something I need pretty quickly. Um, we're going to go ahead, we're going to go ahead and put bunks in. I'm going to put... F how many people have I got? Fucking grids thing comes up and it doesn't tell me. Is you not going to tell me because I'm not in the right thing right now? Is that what's going on? Five. Four. Six. Five. Oh, I can't because I don't have a landing pad. That's why it won't work. I don't know how it tells. Don't. So, seven people. And there's eight beds there. That's fine. That's perfect. Get straight in it. Build the bed. Talk about making your bed before you get in it. <laughs> Lol. Um... We need to work out more power situation first. Before we do anything else, we need to work on the power situation. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to build a larger one of these. <clears throat> I'm going to build double connection. How many resources have I got? I've still got quite a bit. Starch is not a good thing though. Starch is not in a good place right now, but that's fine. <clears throat> um, I'm going to need a factory to build spares. Do I want to do that right now? Or do I want to settle out my power situation? I kind of think I want to sort out my power situation first. I'm going to allow that to build before I do anything else. You've kind of rushed the initial pieces, which is fine. I do think maybe we want another airlock off something here somewhere to be honest so power situation you should boost you do power power collector four metal we can afford it you are going to build a power collector it's going to be built I don't want to go too far out there I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to build you right here. Because it's right next to the resources. So then just throw them straight in. I mean, I've got a lot of kind of wind power. I think solar panel. I'm going to have to build another larger solar panel. But I don't want to build too much right now. Um, I am going to need spares. Uh, I'm going to need... Factory. I need a small one for now, but I am going to build it. I can't build it off the dormitory because I put beds in the way, but that's fine. I don't care. Pretty sure I can... Oh, shit. Behave. So I can build a couple of different things off here, so that's fine. See, I can expand around this way because I do want my, my um, pad here. A landing pad. Which I could probably build and just turn colonists off, right? See, that's... That is filling with power. That is losing power because wind has dropped significantly. I've probably got enough to, su to survive the night, but I do... I do want to kind of build up. Um... Semiconductor foundry, spares workshop. That's all I want for now. I'm not bothered about semiconductors right now. So I don't want to. Work, I don't want to worry about a bot workshop right now. Um. Hmm. 
Let's let things build. Let them get these resources in and out of the way. Power is climbing again. But I do kind of think I want another solar panel. And I want a big solar panel. And I'm going to build you right there. So take that metal over there. Now you've taken all the metal inside. Go take the metal. Oh, hang on. Uh oh. One metal. You are now a priority. I need a med bay. Although, to be fair, with the way the wind is. Yeah, but. Hmm. Hmm. An engineer will need to come and fix you. We've got lots of spares right now, so the spares workshop is probably not. Let's just turn you off. You're going to take up resources I don't want you to mess with. So we kind of need food pretty sharpish. I don't want that using up metal when it doesn't need to. Basically. Uh, <clears throat> do you know what? I think we're probably okay. I think we're pretty much okay for, for that. What we need then is we need lots of ore. And I think we need a landing pad. So in terms of expanding the base, what I'll do is I'll put another airlock here connected to this thing. Maybe some more mines when I want to expand that far. And push the base that way. <clears throat> Have power kind of around here, that sort of thing. I will expand what I need around here. I could probably do the same thing if I can build this far. I'll probably do the same thing here. Another um, uh, airlock connection and stuff and get the base expanded around here. So when, they, when they're when they going outside, they're not going out there, they go out to here. So when I want to expand this way, it'd be airlock. They can come out, one of these structures, an airlock, come out, build what they need to build, and not have to go all the way around the base to do it. Um, I'm going to keep the speed up a little bit. They've all got enough beds. Um, has got metal in there. We've got four ores. Food does not seem to be too much of a problem. I am going to take that down. We do not need that as a priority. We do need this as a priority right now. Eight meals. Nine meals. Six food stuff things to make meals with. Not enough. I'm going to build a bigger storage at some point. Bigger storage. So that we can get more resources. But we kind of need you as a priority. Need the mine and that working as a priority. If we start running out of spares, we've got 10 spares. If we start running low, uh, if we get to like half the amount of spares we've got, then I'll worry about it. I do want... I want this to build first. I'll turn off colonists. We'll work with what we've got for now. Till we've got a really good build up of food. Then, and only then, I will um, turn colonists on. But I also want that to build, and then a medic pad. So you've got the one metal you need for there, and you've got four metal that are required for the landing pad. Hurry up. Let me just watch the world go by. Seven oars. Fuck off. Seven oars. Let's take your priority off. Now the problem with using the mine, it does mean that people are more liable to get hurt, which sucks. I wonder if I should build, if I should build another, let's put another metal production thing in here. I know it takes up one metal that we don't have right now, but nobody's actually working this, right? No. Ugh. Get your butt in there and work it. Eight ores, nobody working on the metal ship. 
Not a good idea, boys and girls. Not a good idea. Okay, so we are self-sufficient. The power levels are fine. Oxygen is fine. I assume water levels are okay. Water levels are fine. I mean, power levels are holding. I could probably build another pod, like the medical bay, but I kind of don't want to do it right now. Are you... Yes. Okay, so you're making that. Are you making that? No, you're just going to put it in there and walk away. See, nobody has anything to do. Okay, so the carrier bots are taking the bioplastics and all the rest of it. Good, that's fine. What, what else do you build in here? Nothing I want right now. It's fine. Okay. So that's fine. So the the kind of the metal's going over there. That needs three more. So that's one, two. Let's go. Yes. Did that actually hit? No. I swear I thought that hit us then. So, how we. So, we haven't got a lot of incoming power. Wind is not doing great right now, but we've got a lot of power reserve. So, I think we're going to be okay. Yeah, let's go back up. We've got enough power to last us. We've got backup power if the wind drops. We're going to rely um, much more heavily on wind power than we are solar power. Um, I just think it's a little bit more reliable. And then in the daytime if the wind does drop. We get a lot of sandstorms which will boost them. It will damage them as well but we've got the spares to deal with it. Um, power storage. I do plan on having more power storage than is required. So when everything's filling, when I've got decent amount of resources. When everything's filling, I'll be building more power collectors. I'll probably need to build a bigger water thingy and then destroy that one. Just be on the safe side. And probably a larger... Yeah, at some point I'll need to build another one. So the base will be kind of expanded so there'll be another portion here. You have to go in through an airlock. Um, there we go. Right. We don't want colonists right now. Don't feel we have enough food to support more colonists. Um, two biologists, one engineer, one medic, and three workers. That's fine for now. We need to build up resources. We need to build up a food with our two biologists. Um, and we need we can have the trading ships come in so we got three metal we're not doing anything with right now okay medic do I need a large one? I'm going to build a larger one simply because I can um, I am going to build it I'm going to build it off here like that. Most of them get out the door and out here. Um, so when I do the um, the airlock, I'll probably connect it to this. So an airlock connected to that, and then the rest of the base will run through. It'll have the it'll be connected to the power and everything. But I will put another oxygen generator thing in it. So I think it needs a separate one because if it hasn't got a connection, like a tunnel connection, I don't think it works. So, yeah, you are built. You are ready for a couple of beds. I'm gonna give you two beds. There's only really one medic. What's this? Medical cabinet for medical supplies. I'm gonna. I am gonna. Great. I'm going to put one of those in there. Ooh, trading ship has landed. Is it trading ship? It is. Um, I 
How much for all of this? Half medical supplies. Got quite a few medicinal plants. I don't think bioplastic such a big thing for me. We'll have one of those. We'll trade that. So we got a bit more metal. Because we are running low on metal. That is something else that does need to be boosted. I wonder if I should turn Colin. I think I will turn... Mm, do I want to turn Colin? It's on though. Do I really? I mean, more biologists would be good, right? Yeah, because they need more biologists. I think turning colonists on let's increase the chance of biologists we do need more me more don't need any more medics thirty five percent forty five twenty so that's a chance for all three of those to come in I don't need any guards right now that's what I'm gonna stick with see how many people we get if we get more than like two we're, we're not going to bother. We're just going to... No. No more. Um, probably do with... So we've got the medic. He's built everything there. So any problems. They put the medical supplies in there. So they're not taking up storage space. What are you? You are okay. So we need to slow down. And we need to see where people are going. That's probably a worker, right? That came in. That is a worker. It's a medic. Biologist. I think that's a new biologist that's just come in. So we're going to have to see what came in. Um, four workers, three biologists, good. Do I want more than three biologists right now? Probably not. Um, we've got the right amount of engineers that we want. We don't need any more medics. So we want 10% medics. 35% biologists, no. Holy crap, holy crap, holy crap, holy crap, holy crap. Everyone get inside. Everyone get inside. Shit, I can't do anything. Crap. Um, I don't have security controls. And everybody's outside. Get inside! Stop going outside, get inside. The sandstorm is going to injure people. And they're not going inside because they're idiots. Fuck. Well, well, okay, well... Where's the guard room? Control center. Might as well start up the control center because there's not a lot else we can do, right? Um, that has to be built off one of these. I didn't want to build it all the way over there. Can I build it off this? Damn. Okay. Can't do anything while they're doing that. If they get injured, they get injured. There's there's absolutely nothing I can do about it. I can't worry about it. It's as simple as that. Yeah, where are you, why are you what just go inside then, idiot. Um crap. <sighs> Airlock. Wait, I can't build an airlock here. I could build it as a new base before, but I can't build one here now. Well, screw you. I'm going to have to be clever and work stuff around this way. Um, so the airlock is going to go here. Well, I don't think anybody got hurt in that, which is lucky. And the control room is going to have to go there. I'm going to have to work around this way. So they'll be able to get round here. Bit of a janky way of doing it, but I can't. I should have put the beds on that side rather than this. I mean, I suppose I still could. In fact, I'm probably going to need more beds anyway, right? Um, see that? I need to recycle. Get out of bed. No. Um, I 
Everybody out of bed. Build your bunks. See, now you build it, now you can get in it, can't you? Hey? Hmm? Hmm? Did you think of that before? No. No, you did not. Actually, I could probably put that one back there. Uh, let's just leave it for now, because I want to kind of see where I can build the next connection from. Um, that meter didn't hit anything important. No, it didn't. You're going to come over here, right? So you're going to put them down there. Yes, you are. Good. Um, okay. So until the airlock's completed, they won't actually come out this way to do stuff. They're still going around that way. So we don't want to set anything else to build in case they put it that as a priority instead. And then really screw me over. But, hopefully a little bit of a better start than we had last time. Although we didn't really have a bad start last time. But hopefully a little bit better continuation than we had. Um, resource build up, not great when it comes to biodome. Large biodome is next, I think. Uh, and probably bigger storage. So we can store more food. Um, but for now... And that is everything from me. I am going to say thank you very much for watching. As always, don't forget to hit that like button. If you're not already subscribed to me, please subscribe to me. Please say hello in the comments as well. I try and respond to them where possible, especially when people are taking a goddamn piss. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching. See you next time, boys and girls. Bye!